Hello again and welcome back to the Fat Fish Guitar Studio. I'm Dave and this video is going to be a little bit different because normally I talk about kind of how we can play music better, how we can play guitar better, how we can better understand music theory. This video is much more about how we kind of consume music. And what I thought I'd start off talking about is um, sort of the way I've been discovering new music recently and a lot of that is through uh, social media, particularly things like Instagram, where if you don't already follow me on Instagram, you can find me here. Um, and I kind of just started off posting just photos of guitars because I enjoy doing photography. Normally I do photography like this or like this, but I quite enjoy just messing around with the camera in the studio here and just taking pictures of, of guitars. And kind of on, on Instagram, just post guitar pictures and just general bits and bobs about life really. And because Instagram, it's, it's social media, so you know, people interact with you, you know, people clicking that like button or what, whatever. And a lot of times it's people I don't, you know, I don't know, know of them, don't know them. Um, and I'll kind of click through and say, well, you know, who is so-and-so? And discovering new uh, new artists that way and then kind of going off and, you know, finding the stuff on YouTube or Spotify or whatever and, and really enjoying it. And I'm actually going to have to do a separate video about this and talk about some artists which I've discovered that way, which you might enjoy as well. But in this video, I want to talk about one uh, one guitarist and singer, particularly uh, someone called Laura Brown, who I think I've mentioned on this channel before. She also plays Turner guitars. Um, and I think I, I mentioned her when I did the review of this Turner guitars C32 a little while ago. Uh, reason I'm mentioning her in this video now is she's just released a first uh, record on Spotify, YouTube, all the, di all the different outlets. I'll put links in the information section down there. If you go to her website and have a look at the uh, biography, it's quite an interesting and hopefully inspirational story, the way that she's, um, she's gone about writing and recording all of this stuff. I'll let you read it for yourself, but it is worth checking out. Uh, so the single she's got out at the minute is called Hummingbird. Uh, I've been listening to it a lot today, actually, it's really, really good. Um, guitar, vocals, really nice production, uh, I encourage you to go and listen to it. And if you like it, let her know. So that's kind of the other thing that I wanted to talk about. And that's about when we um, listen to music, do we actually interact with the artist and let them know we we enjoy it? And a lot of times we don't. Um, I'm, I'm probably as, as, as guilty as, as anybody, actually. I, I just kind of get into just, just listening to stuff and I don't interact with the artist, but there's never been a better time than now to be able to communicate with the people who are putting out this music. You know, back in the day, if you, you know, you tried to write to somebody, uh, like an artist, you didn't get through to them, you get through to the manager or the, their agent or, you know, some representative. But now with things like Facebook and Instagram, you know, the, all the social media, Twitter as well, um, you know, the person on the end of that, that Twitter account or that Instagram account, it's very likely it's going to be the artist themselves. So if you if you send them a comment or just click the like button, they actually see it. And that's a great way to be able to inter interact with these people who are creating music and, 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 you know, let them know what you think. And I think it's important because it's something in the artistic temperament I think a lot of, you know, not not all all musicians, but it's certainly something in the artistic temperament to be a little bit, sometimes a little bit insecure about what you do, or, or you know have have like nagging doubts about you know did you play that that solo as well as you could have done? Is that chord progression quite right? Yeah, and if you get some feedback from your listeners to say yeah that you know that that record I really enjoyed it, or you know that you know just that that pinch harmonic and the at the start of the guitar solo on your single I really liked it you know kind of gives them that sort of positive affirmation that what they're doing is 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 good and people are enjoying it you know and if you give this sort of feedback to people you know let them know that what, what they're doing is being appreciated they'll do more and they'll provide more music to you for you to consume and for you to enjoy now you might say look I already support people um you know buying the CDs then they know that I like the stuff because they're seeing the seeing the, the bank balance going up because of the, all the CD purchases. That's actually a bullshit argument and I'll tell you why. In my living room I've got stacks and stacks of CDs on the shelves. Some of them I listen to a lot and I really enjoy. Other ones, in hindsight, it was a mistake. I might have bought an album and there's actually only one, maybe two tracks on the CD that I like. 
or ones that have come on recommendation from somebody and in hindsight actually no I didn't actually enjoy it that much and CDs just sitting there unloved now to an artist who you know possibly has a little bit of insecurity is like oh people really enjoy my music do they know that that CD that you've bought is one that you listen to every day and you absolutely love or is it one that's consigned to the shelf never to be uh, listen to again because you didn't care for it or it's just gone off into the, you know, gone to the charity shop or something. You know, they might have made some money on it, but they don't know artistically, you know, how, how valid was that to the, to, to their audience. So by interacting with them and letting them know that you enjoyed it, you know, that, that gives them something that, that you, they can't measure just in, in pounds and pence. And the other reason that they're just saying that you bought the CD so you're supporting the artist is another reason that's a bullshit argument is think about it like this. So imagine you worked in a, in a coffee shop and so this is something you can probably relate to, something we do every day, we go to a coffee shop, we'll buy a cup of coffee, pay some money, say thank you and take the, take the coffee away. If you, you applied the same argument about buying CDs to buying coffee, why did you thank the barista when he gave you the cup of coffee? You've already given them, you know, two pounds, three pounds, whatever it is for a cup of coffee. Why should you thank them? You've 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 given them the financial worth of that coffee. Why thank? It's just because it's a nice thing to do. It's to show somebody that you appreciate the effort that they've that they deliver that cup of coffee to you or a cup of tea or whatever it is you you're buying. Um, you know, if you did if you didn't do the please and thank you stuff and you you weren't you didn't interact with them, it would feel like a pretty shit thing to do and. Put yourself in the position of the person who's is providing the goods and the services, you know, not to get that feedback. They'd feel pretty rotten about the job. So just giving that little bit of positive um, feedback that you appreciate what somebody's done, that you like it, it goes an awful long way to um, to encouraging the artist and, and and getting them to you know to enjoy doing what they're doing and produce more music or videos or whatever or whatever it is so please if you listen to music uh, and you enjoy what somebody's doing click on the like button send in comments you know the to be honest the, the bulk of the comments a lot of artists will get is negative it's it's trolling and I, I know this like for my youtube channel that there's an awful lot of stuff i get is negative stuff from people who just like being keyboard warriors and trolling yeah i get some positive feedback and it's really really nice but you know that you need something to what you need something positive what to offset that trolling so i'm getting some gen you can get some genuine feedback if you like what somebody's doing let them know it's 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 really really important that we do that and encourage uh encourage artists and if it's if you're in the position where you genuinely can't afford to go out and buy cds or buy concert tickets or merchandise or whatever yeah it doesn't cost anything to send somebody a, a comment on on a youtube video or on an instagram post or on a tweet or whatever to say yeah i like what you're doing more of the same please okay i'll get down off my soapbox now um like i say laura brown hummingbird all the important links in the information section down there and if you like what she's doing please let her know if you like this video please click like please subscribe, please leave a comment or whatever down there. If there's something that you want me to cover in a future video, if you've got questions about guitar playing or music theory or whatever, then you can go here, fill the form in, send your question in, I'll try and get around to answering it in a future video. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.